Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Craig's Stuff. My name is Craig, and this is some of my stuff, and this is a pile of, of, of crap. It looks like poop. Of Build-A-Figure pieces of the Rhino from the Spider-Man Infinite Series Marvel Legends wave. This is the Build-A-Figure. It is the Rhino. So, uh, if you're stuck with me this long, you would have seen all my other reviews for uh, Scarlet Spider, Superior Venom, White Tiger, Ghost Rider, yeah, Craven the Hunter. What? Yeah, I did. Uh, and Chameleon. So, uh, yeah, so if you haven't watched those, you can check out those videos. They're all uh, on my channel. And, you know. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put them together and then review them. So let's, uh, I guess I'll put them together. All right, first you got his torso, and then the the right foot connects to the leg joint. There it goes. The left foot connects to the other leg. Ow! Ow! Holy crap! <laughs> Cut myself with my own nail. Uh, the arm joint it connects to the other arm and the other arm goes to the other arm the shoulder and then you get a choice of a couple heads so for for this review we are going to use this head well I'm gonna review that head separately oh. All right, all right. Here he is, the Rhino. Now he's put together and uh, looking pretty awesome. But before we take a look at the whole figure, I want to take a look at the other head that you have an option to use. So, so good look at that. Alrighty, here is the other head sculpt you get. With uh, obviously the mask doesn't come down or whatever it doesn't come down onto the front of his face on this one, but you get a much more emotional rhino in this uh, with this head sculpt. He's, he's yelling, yelling really loud, and he's probably charging. His eyes are bugged out. It's pretty awesome. But let's talk about uh, the sculpt. It's a fantastic sculpt. Generally the same sculpt as the other one, um, other than the, the face portion. Uh, love how you can actually see like the ear kind of coming through sculpted on around there. Uh, all kinds of rough hide looks. I love how his eyes came out. They're, they're all bugged out, but they're not like... I mean, they kind of are going different directions, but that, I guess, is what they were going for with that. I love the colors they used with the horns. It looks really nice. So, uh... It looks like a real horn. It does look like a real horn. Some teeth look really well painted. Tongue in there looks very nice. They did a great, a great job with this head. Now let's take a closer look at the rest of the figure. So obviously the head sculpt for this one is not as emotional. He's just got that pouty, frowny face that most of the uh, Marvel Legends tend to get. They usually don't get too much emotion. So it's nice having that option with the other head. Uh, but this one looks really good as well. I love those white eyes came out on there. His cheeks, everything, all the, all that sculpted in really well. The rest of it around is exactly the same as the other head, so don't need to really go into detail about that. Um, the rest of the body looks really good. I love all the sculpted, uh, tough, high detail going on there. And it's not just that uh, gray paint. There's another coat of brown on there. His feet look really nice. Uh, the sculpted on nails look really good and the paint they use for it looks fantastic. It could be confused for a real rhino's foot. I think <laughs> if if you had a close up of that foot, uh, maybe in the jungle, you would think it might be a rhino or an elephant's foot. Uh, so they did a great job with that. Now there really isn't much more to talk about with the paint. Uh, the whole body has that gray with the 
extra shade of brown going over it. It looks really good. And from behind, he looks really good. You can see those uh, folds on the back of his head. His back sculpted really well, looking really muscular. Look at that rhino tush. Looking really good. They did a great job with this one. Now, unfortunately, with the rhino, you don't get too much articulation. His head only goes that far back, that far forward. His shoulder pieces have a little bit of movement, and they actually can just pop right off over here. So be careful with those. His arms only go about this far up. They're stopped by his shoulder guard there, but they do go all the way around. You have a single jointed elbow, very tight, and it only goes about that far. Wrists spin and goes back and forth. You get a bit of an ab crunch, it only goes about that far forward and doesn't really go back at all. And it just keeps going back like that. He spins at the waist. Legs go out about that far, about that far back, and out about that much. You get an upper thigh swivel, single jointed knees, foot goes up and down, and there is an ankle pivot. The rhino stands about eight and a half inches tall. Alrighty everybody, I guess that's it. That completes the entire set of Spider-Man Marvel Legends from the Rhino Build-A-Figure Wave, except for Misty Knight, because I don't know who she is. I don't care about who she is. I'm not a racist. Yeah, she, she's the black one, right? She is the black one, then who looks like Foxy Cleopatra. I just don't know who she is. I don't. You gotta do your research. Guess I gotta do my research. Oh, you know what? She was recently cast, I heard, for the, I don't know, the Luke Cage or TV show or something like that. Because she's a Luke Cage character. That's all I know about her. All right, well, there won't be a review coming for Misty Knight, but that's it. That's every other figure. And uh, I'll say it again. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this review, make sure you uh, click the like button. That's what you do if you like, like something. Uh, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All those links are in the description box. Oh, and make sure you check out nerdappeal.com for more videos and a couple awesome podcasts. That link is in the description box as well. I will see you guys next time. Later.